Rollovers are an important part of website design, or really any interactive design for that matter. And the reality is, without a rollover, it's hard to tell what we're able to interact with, so it's hard not to use rollovers. They're really helpful when it comes to hyperlinks, and they're really helpful whenever there is an interactive event that you want to call attention to. But in Adobe Muse, these rollovers kind of are on or off. As soon as you move your cursor on top of something, it snaps into its rollover state. There's never been a way within Adobe Muse to have a smooth transitioning rollover effect, which is something that I've personally always wanted. I'm sure some of you will agree. So I've created that feature. If you head over to museresources.com, you can download the new rollover transitioner that I made. And uh, with that, when you go into Muse, if you've got some rollovers on your page, then great, you can drop this right in. If not, you'll want to go and set up some rollovers for yourself. And for those of you who are not familiar with rollovers in general, uh, if you have an object selected, in the top left corner it shows that this is the normal appearance of that object. If you click on that, you can switch to rollover and you can change the way the object appears and uh, that will change the way that it appears when a cursor is on top of it. Normal is what you see before the cursor gets there, rollover is what you see when the cursor gets on top. So we want to animate the difference between normal and rollover so it's smooth. So with this rollover transitioner, once you get that downloaded and popped into Muse, you can just drag it onto a page. If you want to apply it to every page, you can drag it onto one of your master pages. And now if I preview this in the browser, you'll notice a difference here. When I preview in the browser, and I move my cursor on top of a rollover, see how they glow in slowly? Look at that. I've got it set on half a second, that's the default. Half a second's a little slow, I do recommend speeding it up a little bit uh, to make the computer feel faster. It's kind of one of those psychological things. If you have slow transitions, it feels like you're on a slow machine that's not very responsive. So I'm going to turn this down, maybe go to 0.3, and with that set on 0.3 I'll preview it in the browser again. That's 0.3 seconds, by the way, a third of a second. And uh, now when I mouse over, see that it's a little bit more snappy, just a little bit more snappy. And all I did was drag the darn thing on the page. I've made this very, very easy for you guys to implement. Uh, I coded it as a MooCal file. It's one of my, my favorite types of files. It is actually a MooCal file. That's M-U-C-O-W. And uh, with that, when you drop it on the page, it injects code into Adobe Muse. And... It injects code in the right place. It does not matter where you put it on the page. Wherever you drop this, uh, I promise that the code is going to go where it needs to go. Now, one thing I do want to mention, and it is mentioned here under important note, there's some weird issue with Firefox when Muse writes the code. And when Muse writes the code, um, it disables scrolling for Firefox. And it has to do with this preference. If you go to File and you choose Site Properties, You'll find on the Layout tab, it says Browser Scroll Bars, and Vertical is normally set to Automatic, where the browser kind of takes it upon itself. If you click on that, you can switch it to Always, and you won't have the problem that I'm describing with Firefox. It seems to be unique to Firefox, uh, but go ahead and do that to avoid that problem altogether. And then when you click on this, you always get your settings with the blue circle. And with that blue circle, you'll be able to change the transition duration to speed it up or slow it down. And then you have easing style. So you guys may be familiar with this from video experience. If not, the idea is that things can either happen suddenly or they can happen gradually. So with ease in and out, it starts the transition gradually and ends the transition gradually and goes at a constant speed in between. Ease in does just the front end of it. Uh, ease out just does the back end of it and then linear does not smooth anything it's very robotic so by default I have it set on ease in and ease out so it looks really smooth now I want to show you guys a couple of ideas and uh, when you download this it's gonna come with a document that explains this uh, just as I've explained it here but it also lists out the different properties that are compatible uh, not everything is compatible but there are some things that are compatible with transitions that are uh, kind of surprising. I was really stoked about it. So let me preview this in the browser real quick. You'll notice here I have an image of uh, what appears to be an iPhone and that image is cut off but when I move my cursor over it see how it snaps down into a different position and uh, over here I've got this download button and when I mouse over it it changes the size of the box by way of the uh, before and after paragraph spacing and uh, it also adds a shadow in there. And then over here, I've got an invisible box that has a little cloud in it, and it has a uh, color fill at, at a relatively high opacity. I believe it's a 90% opacity. And uh, these things are just snapping, right? Because I don't have my rollover transitioner on this page. I'm going to drag it in on the page, and I'm going to preview it in the browser immediately. And you guys can see 
that not only does it work with the movement over here, it also works with transitioning the size and the shadow on the text. It also works with transitioning the fill here. And you guys will notice that that little cloud is moving. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, I don't remember that being part of the rollover options, having something move like that. Uh, but all I did, I'm going to select this, I've got the opacity turned down normally. The opacity is on zero. And then when I go to my rollover, I've got an image fill set to a cloud from the icon mega pack. And if I click on fill, you can see here, it's just a regular image fill. I made it white, I made it small. I have it set to original size and centered. And you can see that that is the case. If I go back to the normal state, it's invisible, so you can't see it. I have the opacity turned down to zero, but if I go back to fill, I don't have it anchored to the center position. I have it anchored to the bottom. So when the transition takes place, it's not only fading in, but it's also moving from the bottom to the top. And I could have that go from the side to the side. I could have it go from the top to the middle, however I want. If I switch the normal position to the top and the rollover position is of course set to the middle, if I preview that in the browser, it'll go the opposite direction. See now it comes down from the top. And then this is the same idea. I've got an image fill in a rectangle and that image fill is uh, anchored to the center. It's anchored to the center of the picture, which is why we see the middle of the iPhone. And then the rollover state, it is anchored to the top, which is why it slides down. And then down here, I just made some changes to the text. I added a shadow on the rollover state, and uh, all that stuff worked. All that stuff did transition. It's really, really cool. So super versatile, and all you have to do is drag it on the page, and you're rocking and rolling. It's that easy. So not too many tricks up my sleeve this time. But I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys go and download this. And uh, it is completely free. If you guys are feeling up to it, there is a donate button at the bottom of museresources.com or buy yourself an Icon Mega Pack so that way you get something out of it. Uh, but check out the library widgets. I've got a lot of cool stuff and I have more cool stuff coming now that I've learned how to create these MooCow files. All right, guys, enjoy.